Welcome back, Silas. This is Rock Your Recruiting Part 2. We are going to talk about how to expand your search and finding prospects and a little bit more about social media and events. So here we go. So building a business and building a team that will be successful is all about building a system that you can duplicate and replicate. So one of the major ways to help build your team and help be consistent is to hold weekly meetings. So when you hold your weekly meetings, you want to be consistent. You want to do them every single week. You want to invite everyone on your team and also have them bring a plus one. You really want to try to limit these meetings to about 30 to 45 minutes. You want to share your why, your what, why you joined Jay Elizabeth and what it's doing for you. You want to transition into the products with an overview, show some of the products that you have, some of our drinkware, some of the t-shirts you bought. Um, you could also ask other customers that are on the meeting to share their testimony about our products. So once you've shared your testimony, you've built up a product story, you've had other customers talk about why they love our products, maybe other stylists, now is the time to go ahead and transition into why it is now the best time to join. Always give a why. Why is it a good time to join right now? It could be the beginning of the year, people want to start new things, we could have, sometimes we do a 45 day free. Give that why. Why is it a good time to join Jay Elizabeth right now? Another great idea is to give away something for people that join that night. You could give away gift cards, t-shirts, your thermometer that you fill up by the end of the week, um, any gift cards you get from that you can give away. So it entices people to, after they hear your why, after they hear your what, it entices them to join now and give us a try. Another really good idea is after you hold your meeting, hold the training after. You're going to have people that possibly have signed up and joined your team. You already have some of your leaders and teammates there, so have them do a Q&A and hold a training on what to do to start your new business. So holding a training after you have your meeting will give those who just signed up a fresh start. They will be able to jump right in and start working their business and be successful. Okay, let's talk about networking and how to talk to people. So the best way to start networking is to join groups, uh, for example, on Facebook that have the same interests as you, any local groups. Um, so if you're a mom, join some mom groups. If you're a teacher, join some teacher groups. If you like a certain football team, join their groups. Once you get into these groups, you wanna join the conversation. You wanna reply on some other people's posts, answer some questions that you see. What you don't wanna do is go in there and start spamming them with Jay Elizabeth and t-shirts and um, different aspects of the business. You wanna gain relationships that can somehow turn into the opportunity and the products. Another important thing to do as you're joining these groups is to read their group rules. Some groups do allow you, if you join a network marketing mom group, some groups do allow you to post about your opportunity. Some do not. Uh, but go on and read the rules and you'll be surprised that maybe on a, you know, a Tuesday once a week you're able to post your opportunity or post what you're selling. Okay, now a huge aspect to building your network marketing business and getting your product and the opportunity out there is trade shows and events. So let's move on and talk about that. So the best way that I have found that you can find different events to join is to go on to your local Facebook groups. There are a lot of craft shows, there could be church events, holiday fairs, um, school events. Definitely around the holidays is the best time that I have seen that you're able to find events and join them. And you'll probably end up spending about $50 to $100 for your booth. Now yes, you're going there to sell your products, you're going there to talk about the opportunity to people that are interested, but I have found it to be very successful to go early and make friends with the other vendors. Go and talk about their products, go and talk about your why, Go and talk about direct sales. Um, you could get a possible recruit. You could show them different t-shirts, uh, samples, how soft our shirts feel, talk about their stuff and make connections and make friends with other vendors. You know, to go along with that, it's also good to stay late. Pass out flyers, give out any samples that you have, uh, give out your business cards, stay in touch and build your leads list. You could definitely find someone that could be your next top leader underneath you. So during the event, um, which I'm sure a lot of you have been to events and you see different booths 
and you see the booths that have the people that own them just kind of sitting there waiting for customers and you see the booths that people are interactive you want to learn to pull people in you can do this uh, via giveaways give them compliments talk about the shirt they're wearing um, create an opening and welcoming area have an entry box uh, you want to have order forms or your catalog or different versions of your t-shirt sitting up front do a raffle if you stay interactive and you and you look and sound excited about what you're selling about what you're offering you're going to have more people come in and be just excited as you are and anybody that you pull in and are able to get their contact information for a giveaway or a raffle is somebody else that you can add to your contact list and later reach out to about either becoming a customer or even a stylist now not everyone is outgoing and there are some that are shy so you're thinking to yourself how am I going to pull people in? What am I going to say to them? So the best way to get over this is to simply compliment somebody. Ask them some questions. People love to talk about themselves. So you can walk up to somebody and say, hey, your kids are adorable. How old are they? Keep asking questions, but don't talk about your business. As you're engaging them and forming a relationship, chances are they're probably going to pull themselves into your booth and start looking at your t-shirts or your products. If the conversation goes really well, Give them a business card and ask them if you could reach out to them in a day or so or have them friend you or like your business page on Facebook. Overall, I do believe events is one of the best ways to grow your customer and your contact base and get people to learn about your products and the opportunity. Now, another way to grow your contact list is to talk to people that you see every day. Your bank teller, servers at the restaurant, teachers, people that you interact with at stores, the doctor's office, your nail tech. You know, a great way to interact, just like at the events, is to give them compliments and talk about them. Talk about their kids, talk about their likes, their dislikes, and then you can even bring up that you make shirts that will go along with that. Be respectful. Let them know that, you know, I know you're at work, but if you were leaving your income options open, here's my business card and contact me if you'd like a little bit more information about JE. It is really important to have those business cards on hand, and a really good idea is to put a QR code on there so they can scan it and get right to your business page. Now that I've given you a few ideas on how to build your contact list, it is really important that you stay in contact with these people via calling, texting, instant messenger, on Facebook. If someone has purchased from you, for example, at the event, you could send them a quick message and say, hey, I'm just you know, finding out if you love your product and use positive language when you talk to them. Find out if they're looking for any more t-shirts, if they want to purchase more candles, if they want to purchase more afterglow. You want to follow up with their purchase or follow up even if they didn't purchase and see if they are looking to start a fundraiser even and be able to become a customer. It's really important to be consistent when reaching out. You want to reach out, let's say once a month. On the first of every month, send them out an email that talks about our new releases, talks about some different things that you may be doing for your team and then possibly a little bit about the opportunity. Now, through all these reaching out to different contacts and talking to people, you're going to hear no's. But remember, no does not mean forever. It's just no right now. And someone's timing can change. For example, they could have lost their job. They're now a stay-at-home mom. They need extra income. They have a baby on the way. Don't be discouraged by the no. Be consistent and continue to reach out. And as always, share your testimonials share other customers' comments, their reviews, how, how JE has helped you, how it's helping people underneath you. Share, 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 and that's how you'll be able to get your yes. Okay, the last piece to this training is social media, and we are gonna follow up with social media by doing a whole series of social media trainings. But this is just a quick overview of what you can do to help out your social media. After everything we went over, I do believe social media is the main way to generate new leads and train a new team. It's all about telling your story. What's super cringy is if you are one of those people that are constantly posting about, buy my product, join my team, we have this, we have that, and that's all you post about, that is the quickest way for you to get blocked and unfriended. You are a paid storyteller. You have to tell a story of your products, yourself, and your business. Let's talk about storytelling versus selling. You wanna be a giver of great value. A post a day will have leads coming your way, but it doesn't always have to be about your business. Post things about cooking, your kids, school, workouts, decorating, 
find something interesting that you like and you can relate to other people and post about that and it does not have to do with your business. That is the quickest way for you to get people to follow you because they have the same likes and the same interests as you. Then when you do post about your products, when you do post a cute t-shirt, you do post something about the business opportunity, people have, that have been watching you from the background will start reaching out to learn more. Like I said, you wanna be a giver of great value. Humor is a great idea. Inspiration is an awesome idea. It will keep people coming back for more every single day. What is doing really well right now is reels and stories on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok videos. And we'll cover those in future trainings to help you be successful at those pieces of social media. But in the meantime, you wanna be a storyteller. You wanna use before and after pictures. You wanna show pictures of your customers, your family, in the t-shirts that they've purchased. You wanna share testimonials, tag your customers, share other people's stories, shout out someone in your company. Uh, that creates awareness for your business and what it is doing for other people. So in between making your regular posts about your family and workouts and what you're making for dinner, you wanna showcase what's happening in your business and it makes people wanna be a part of something fun and exciting. For example, our upcoming incentive trip. And last but not least, let's talk about meaning versus money. While making these posts and posting your stories, you don't want to parade around money or claims of money. You want to share meaning. What is the business allowing that person to do? What is the business allowing you to do? For example, in the part-time hours that I worked this week, I was able to go on a trip. I was able to pay my car. I was able to buy groceries. That's the meaning that you want to post. Like I said, we're going to have a ton of trainings on social media exclusively, so we'll follow up to this training with that. But it does take time. You need to be persistent. And once you get that momentum, amazing things are going to happen.